he was unable to control his dreams. His conscious state of mind was battling itself. In his constructed fantasy, he was unable to control his surroundings. His powers were all over the place. He wants it to stop to a point he was pleading with his powers but what is happening to the plutonian is simple his physical self subconsciously is having a clash conflict with his consciousness which was also giving the vespan soldiers problems for they realized that the plutonian was the reason for the problem with the graviton force for it was incapable of suppressing the plutonian even while unconscious so in fear of him not waking up, the Vespan soldiers quickly wrapped the plutonium in his own cloned skin and they encapsulated him in a capsule-like metal box and it was caved into a large diamond prism. Modius Android, whom is being inhabited by Modius, was heartbroken and disappointed that the Plutonian had been taken away by the Vespan soldiers. And right in his lab, he still has a lifeless, cold body of Sila, whom at this point, he is neither alive or dead. He was more of a zombie in which Modius at first wanted Encanta to transfer his consciousness into the body of Sila. But as she was about to proceed, Modius android whom is being inhabited by Modius stopped her. The reason is because it is more advantageous for him to be in the body of the android so it will be possible and easy for him to find a way to bring the plutonian back to earth with the help of Qubit. Since they found the plutonian problematic, the Vespan soldiers in desperation took the prism to space in a cloaked spacecraft to avoid adversaries and foes which was causing them a lot of fuel and they barely have enough termites left to return home and another problem was that the prism with the weight of the plutonian was dragging their spacecraft it was like dragging the moon they would have teleported through qubits quantum jumper given to them by the honey but the prism around the metal capsule holding the numb body of the plutonian is super dimensional which its density is an equivalent to a white dwarf star in which if they dare try that option it might result into the folding of the time continuum the vespan soldiers admitted to themselves that dumping the body of the plutonian was the best option option as he was unable to be tamed reluctantly cupid was forced and assigned to recruit new members to the paradigm not because he was against the idea it's just the quality of people they were recruiting the first recruitment was a villain called decay who was a terrible villain whom seemed to perceive that their recruitment of him is out of desperation and all cupid could do is flatter his ego convincing him to join and the next was Yako, a psychic serial killer. And the only thing he knows how to do is kill. And the next person was Shank, whom Cubit had to knock out because as they entered her uh, apartment, she almost killed them by throwing knives at them. Now the Vespan soldiers arrived close to the event horizon of a place called Ginom, which was an insane asylum at the center of the sun of this galaxy. And the Vespan soldiers dropped the prism, the Plutonian was encapsulated in into the sun subconsciously he was feeling the heat of the sun at this point the plutonian couldn't tell if he was awake or asleep in fear thinking he was in some kind of hell he thought to himself this was unfair he was unable to use his powers he was unable to use his strength he was ordinary he was sorry for everything he had done for the first time he was repentant and remorseful thinking it was all over a persona in a caped costume told him not to panic and saved him from the burning furnace the caped persona took the plutonian to a city and the plutonian asked him who he was in which the caped persona 
Sona replied, Auroran. The Plutonian, for the first time, felt what it's like to be a human being and to be without powers. He felt so ordinary and it was strange and different. So in fear, he told Auroran that when people see him and realize he has no power, they might attack him thinking he's still a villain. But the caped persona, Auroran, put the Plutonian's mind at rest, that he has nothing to worry about, that he will protect him so far he's by his side, and then gave the Plutonian glasses to disguise himself and clothes to wear. The true reality is that the Plutonian is still unconscious and sinking deep into the center of the sun in his physical form, for even the heat of the sun couldn't bring the Plutonian back to consciousness as he sleeps comfortably and his body becomes adaptable to the heat at the center of the sun in Genom.